Let's review Adobe Dimension for main menus for Windows. File menu includes New, creates a new document. Open, opens a file browser to load a previous saved document. Open Recent, opens a file from a list of documents that have recently been opened. Open Backup Files. Close, close the current document. Save. Save the current document with any progressive changes. If the current document has not yet been saved, the app will use Save As instead. Save As, save the current document with a new specified name. Revert to Saved, discard any changes and return to the last saved state of the document. Import menu includes 3D model. Imports geometry-based formats as 3D objects in the scene. Image as background, imports an image, creates a camera that matches its size, and assigns the image to the camera background. Image as light, imports EXR, HDRI, and other format images as the environment light. Place material on selection, imports a material and assigns it to the active selection. Place image on model, imports an image and applies it as a graphic layer on the active selection. Export menu includes Scene slash objects, exports the current scene in a variety of 3D formats. Selected for arrow, optimizes and exports the scene for use in Adobe Arrow. Selected materials, export the selected materials. Selected Object UVs, export the UVs of the selected object as a PSD file. Quit, closes the app. If an unsaved document is open, you will be asked to save the document before the app closes. Edit menu includes. Undo, go one step back in the history of actions. Redo, go one step forward in the history of actions. Cut removes the selection and saves it to the clipboard. Copy, saves the current selection to the clipboard. Paste, load the data from the clipboard to the document. Paste as instance, when model data is in the clipboard, this loads the model as an instance instead of a new copy. Duplicate, loads a copy of the selection into the document. Delete, removes the selection from the document. Keyboard Shortcuts, opens the Keyboard Shortcut view. Purge Shader Cache, clears the shader cache, which can free up some memory and improve performance. Preferences, opens the preferences to configure the app behavior. Object Menu includes. Group, creates a new group object. If there is an active selection will place the selected objects into the group. Ungroup, removes a selected object from a group. Lock slash unlock, toggles the locked status of objects. Hide slash show selected objects, toggles the visibility of objects. Hide slash show unselected objects, toggles the visibility of unselected objects. Show all objects, sets all objects in the scene to visible. Move to ground. Moves the current selection so the bounding box is on the ground plane. Replace object, select an object to replace the current object with. World slash object transform space, toggles the transformation tools between world and object transform space. Snapping, toggles snapping on the transformation tools. Transform, copy, paste, or reset the transform of the selected object. Convert to standard model, freezes the settings of a parametric model and converts to a standard model. Generate UVs, runs automatic UV generation for the selection. 
will replace any current UVs. Load Materials Textures allow to load MDL textures into Dimension. You have to select directory where are located your textures and you can use keywords that allow to load textures with key names. Camera menu includes Camera undo, go one step back in the history of camera navigations. Camera redo, go one step forward in the history of camera navigations. Frame selection, move the active camera to bring the selected object into view. Frame all, Move the active camera to the bounds of the entire scene. Frame all mesh objects, moves the active camera to the bounds of all mesh objects in the scene, ignores non-mesh objects like cameras and lights. Frame all non-mesh objects, moves the active camera to the bounds of all non-mesh objects in the scene, cameras, lights. Add camera, creates a new camera object and sets the viewport to display it. Switch to last camera, sets the viewport to display the viewport camera. Switch to previous camera, sets the viewport to display the previous camera in the camera list. Switch to next camera, sets the viewport to display the next camera in the camera list. Camera views, sets the current camera view to standard viewing angles such as top and front. Select menu includes. Select all, selects all objects in the scene. Deselect all, deselects all objects in the scene. Inverse selection, toggles the selection status of all objects in the scene. Select parent, selects parent objects of currently selected objects. Select parent, selects child objects of currently selected objects. View menu includes. Zoom to fit viewport, zooms the viewport to the bounds of the camera frame. Zoom to fit selection, zooms the viewport into the selected object. Does not affect camera dolly. 100%, zooms the viewport to pixel accurate export size. Zoom in, increase the pixel size of the viewport. Zoom out, decrease the pixel size of the viewport. Show grid. Toggle the visibility of the grid. Enable slash disable ray tracing, toggles ray tracing. Reset gizmo size, sets the transform gizmo size to default. Decrease gizmo size, makes the transformation tool gizmos smaller. Increase gizmo size, makes the transformation tool gizmos larger. Window menu includes. Minimize. Reduces the app to the taskbar, Windows, or Dock, Mac OS. Switch mode, toggles between design and render mode. Show, hide assets, toggle the assets panel. Show, hide render settings, toggle the render settings panel. Show, hide performance info, shows the in-viewport performance overlay. Show, hide tool options. Toggle the tool option popover. Show hide environment light viewer. Show environment light viewer panel. Show hide interface. Show or hide dimension interface. Help menu includes. Tutorials. A collection of tutorials for dimension. Release notes. Information about the latest release. Documentation. Documentation home page. Keyboard shortcuts. Shortcuts documentation. What's new, new release notes. Forums. Public forums for discussion and questions. Get logs. Open a browser where dimension log is located. Feature requests. Request and vote on new features and enhancements. Manage my account. Manage your Adobe account. Check for updates. Checks if there is an update to the app available. About Dimension shows the legal and version information for the app. About is located in the application menu on Mac OS.